Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and thank you for tuning in. I used to speak pretty harshly about the no fat movement, uh, but my views have changed on that subject for a number of reasons. It turns out that after abstaining from ejaculation for just seven days, your testosterone levels may boost quite significantly, and this boost could explain the improved confidence and motivation that many men claim to experience during NoFap. According to a study looking at 28 healthy non-medicated men, all aged between 21 and 45, after seven days of not ejaculating, their serum testosterone levels soared to 145.7% above their baseline. Now, only minimal changes were witnessed between days two and five, and after day seven, no further changes were documented. But if you can refrain from ejaculation for seven days, you too may reap this substantial hormonal benefit and even maintain that peak level if you continue to abstain. So, step aside beast mode and make way for priest mode. At this point, you may be asking, just how significant is a boost of 145.7%? On average, a healthy guy will have testosterone levels around 679 nanograms per deciliter. So with that figure in mind, let's do some math. 145.7% increase from a baseline of 679 would be approximately 989. So in other words, Seven days of abstinence could rocket your average guy's big T to the upper end of the normal range. Now, if you watch my video titled The Truth About Testosterone Boosters, published in July of 2016, you will learn that according to research, boosting testosterone within the normal range will not beget steroid-like muscle gains, no matter how high you boost your levels within the physiologically normal range. However, it can significantly increase your ability to burn body fat and keep it off. In other words, your physique could become leaner and meaner. Even if you won't end up looking as jacked as everyone's favorite full natty bodybuilder, Cali Muscle. That's a joke, by the way, before someone lashes out in the comments with something like, but Cali's not natty. Seriously, there's always that one guy in any crowd who loses the plot? Anyway, for those interested, I've linked to my old T-Booster video in the description. Uh, now you may ask, uh, what does the study have to do with laying off the old game of solo tug-of-war? I mean, after all, that study only looked at abstinence from ejaculation in general, not specifically masturbation. First, research has shown that while ejaculation induced by sex can significantly raise testosterone levels, Ejaculation by masturbation, on the other hand, appears to have no significant effect on the big T. And another study looking at both men and women found something similar, that having sex increases testosterone levels in both genders. Furthermore, a study looking at healthy men aged between 22 and 29 years who had abstained from masturbation-induced orgasms for three weeks experienced not only higher levels of testosterone, but also reported greater levels of sexual arousal as well as a higher quality of orgasm. So while masturbation might not be harmful for you, uh, it isn't doing you any favors either. You aren't getting that sweet, sweet tea boost and you won't be optimizing your ability to achieve arousal um, or your satisfaction with your partner. Possibly leaving her in a perpetual state of what the fuck. Whereas just having sex has been shown to significantly boost your testosterone levels. Now, I cannot seem to find the data on precisely how much testosterone is actually boosted by sex, but as I've discussed on this channel before, regular sex elicits a myriad documented health benefits as well as facilitating bonding with your significant other. So the benefits go well beyond just hormones. In other words, I'm not suggesting that you abstain from sex with your partner, rather just forego the act of masturbation. Uh, even if it turns out that complete abstinence from ejaculation is superior to sex uh, when it comes to raising testosterone. In other words, don't misinterpret the message I am trying to convey with this video. 
And if you are single, you should still abstain from masturbation. Instead, you should channel your pent-up sexual energy into finding a quality partner. Let it drive and motivate you. You could also channel into smashing the weights, which can raise your sexual market value, thus improving your chances at a quality partner. Again, another topic that I've discussed on this channel. Hell, you could even channel it into other areas of your life, like starting a sweet business or into cleaning your damn room. Finally, this will enable you to eliminate porn from your life, uh, which is a degenerate and damaging habit anyway. You see, the consumption of internet porn has been shown to lead to an addiction similar to substance addiction. Furthermore, the more porn that you consume, the more you may reduce the amount of gray matter in your brain, as well as hindering sexual function. And gray matter is the stuff responsible for muscle control, seeing, hearing, memory, emotions, speech, decision-making, self-control, and more. Lovely, right? So not only can porn turn you into an addict, thus controlling your life, but it can also reduce the volume of your brain matter, which comes with its own host of problems, as well as fuck with your ability to fuck. Uh, so just quit it. It is literally doing you zero favors. Instead, it can actually do you harm. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and press that bell button for notifications, and check back here weekly, as all three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and my Patreon and Subscribestar pages and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that also includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. And don't forget to check out my latest ebook, The Right to Bear Arms, which will attack your guns in a strategic and scientifically sound manner, possibly doubling their growth over the course of 12 weeks compared to more conventional training approaches, at least according to the human research that I built this program around. That ebook is linked below in the description. Also, check out my previous video for more details on that ebook, as well as an in depth look at one of the novel techniques employed in the program that boosts arm strength and growth. That video is also linked below in the description. There are a lot of ways that you can show your support for what I do. I'm almost entirely demonetized, and YouTube rarely promotes my work, so I rely on you, my viewers, to keep going and growing. Furthermore, YouTube seems to have suddenly deranked the shit out of my channel, uh, and they're even withholding content notifications from some of my subscribers, I've been told. In fact, my last two videos have experienced a nearly 50% decline in the views uh, compared to uh, views I got in late August of this year, on average. So, yeah, your likes, shares, and comments are vital to combating YouTube's obvious censorship. Uh, which not only prevents uh, new folks from finding my content, but also prevents my current viewers from becoming aware that I'm even still producing content. Thus, if you'd like to see me continue to actively produce content, your support is very welcomed and very much appreciated, and I cannot stress that enough. And your pledges, such as through Patreon, or your use of my affiliate links, such as my Amazon associate links, or just purchasing my eBooks, all helps towards any expenses incurred through this channel, uh, such as new or upgraded equipment uh, and software, as well as uh, just something for my time and effort. In any case, thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. <laughs>